Ray Brown, you have written, let's say, almost all of the book about how to play the bass. You're one of the, the bass player, the doyen of the bass players. And you have, of course, in, in all these years, you have changed in a way that you have still, you are still the bass player, but you are also changed into another profession, being a manager, being a, uh, as far as I know you used to do, if you're still doing it, you have to correct me, things like the Monterey Jazz Festival. Mm. No, not anymore, but I, I had did. a spot on a few Concord Festival. I was the musical director and at the uh, Monterey Festival, when John Lewis was away for a couple of years, I took his place and was the musical director there. Now, what I would like to know is, since you're doing this, do you understand producers or, or managers a little better than before you used to do that? Well, what I find is that it's comfortable for a musician when he can sit down with somebody who is a musician or has been a musician, who understands all of the things that musicians have to go through and how difficult it is to not have to worry about your money and your business and your travel and all your arrangements if somebody who is looking out for you and who understands is taking care of it. Als einer der bedeutendsten Bassisten hat ja Ray Brown in den letzten Jahren ein bisschen ins Lager der Produzenten, Manager und sogar musikalische Leiter von Festivals gewechselt und er hat festgestellt, dass Musiker sich natürlich wohler fühlen, wenn sie mit einem Musiker sprechen können, mit einem Manager, der auch Musiker ist. Und auf die Frage, ob er seine Meinung über die Produzenten ein bisschen geändert hat, seit er es auch selber macht, hat er sich sehr diplomatisch äh, aus der Affäre gezogen. And as a bass player, if you're looking at the bass players today, I mean, there are a lot of young bass players that come from a different, uh, that haven't really grown up with the kind of music from the 40s or the 50s. A lot of bass, young bass players play, are grown up with, with, with rock or with, mm -hmm. with pop music. Do you think that there'll be a time when more, or when, when the clock starts turning again that people who never played upright bass start playing upright bass again instead of electric bass? Well, I think that, well, everything turns and comes back, you know. Uh, my own son, when he was 15 years old, uh, he is the product of a famous mother and a famous father. His mother's Ella Fitzgerald, his son is Ray Brown, okay? And we do fairly well, you know, I mean, he's had a good life, you know, comfortable. But he saw the Beatles come to the United States and make $50 million in one year. That would make somebody play rock music very easily, you yes. know, when he sees there's no way that his parents can make $50 million in a lifetime, Right. you see. And uh, we have, uh, you speak to Mr. Zubrug here, uh, he's putting a lot of effort in trying to bring the people of Switzerland and the world, as whoever sees us on TV, some really good music, some really good artists, you know? And it gets difficult because uh, for the amount of money that he has, it's expensive, you know? Yes. But by the same token, if he were giving, if this were all rock, there's his payroll and the money that he would be able to, to use and the houses he would have would be, 20,000 people, you know, so uh, I think it will evolve, you know, everything evolves yes. sooner or later, you know. But uh, I want to get back to that just a second, because it would interest me now what your son is doing now. Is he playing an instrument? He plays drums. He, plays he drums. has a rock band. He has a rock band. Oh, yes. And he's the leader of the band? Yes. 
How old is he? 36. What, what's the band called? I have no idea. You're kidding. No. I don't. And what, what do you, th what, 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 what is your opinion of his music? I have no idea. I haven't heard but, his band in three years, I think. I heard him oh. one night, you know. He knows it's the kind of music I don't care for, you know. But I said, you know, whatever you want to do is comfortable. You yeah, know? but he's listening, he's probably listening to your records. Oh, yeah, he knows jazz music, and he, I saw him a few weeks ago. He came to see me. I was playing in Seattle. He lives in Seattle. And he came down about three nights out of the week and oh, enjoyed himself, you know. That's great. Ray Brown had einen Sohn, der Schlagzeug spielt. Er ist das Produkt zweier berühmter Eltern. Ella Fitzgerald ist die Mutter und Ray Brown ist der Vater. Und der Sohn hat natürlich erlebt, wie damals die Beatles nach Amerika kamen und in einem Jahr 50 Millionen Dollar verdienten und Ray Brown erzählt, dass es natürlich schwierig ist, einem Kind zu verargen, dass es denkt, also so viel Geld machen meine Eltern ja mit ihrer Musik nie und dann versucht, in diese Szene einzusteigen und er hat also eine Rockband und sein Vater sagt, sein Sohn wisse, dass er diese Musik nicht gerade sehr schätze, aber auf der anderen Seite kommt sein Sohn zu seinen Konzerten und wenn er eine Woche spielt, ist er mindestens drei Abende in der Woche, sitzt der Sohn und hört dem Vater zu.